Hey everyone, Ryan here. Now, in the beginning of the week, we got to learn some really cool information about more information leading to Galaxy's Edge. So we got to learn the opening dates of Rise of the Resistance. So before I go to Florida for a second, let me focus here on Disneyland, since uh, Galaxy's Edge is actually open right now. Um, Rise of the Resistance is post was supposed to be open uh, this year, but uh, they got pushed back into the new year, of course. So we got to wait until January 17th, 2020. I'm, I'm actually looking really forward to this because I, I have not been to Galaxy's Edge quite yet and I haven't been learning more about the Millennium Falcon ride. It's more like a Star Tours, but in, in that case, it's still like hands-on with uh, pushing buttons on the side, pushing with the, the light speed and everything. So that looks pretty cool. So moving over to Florida now, the Florida version, uh, in Hollywood Studios, their Galaxy's Edge is not even open yet, but it's, it should be open next month as it is. So August 29th is the opening date for Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios. And uh, Rise of the Resistance ride, actually, the Florida one's actually going to get a Rise of the Resistance ride first. Try, <laughs> try saying Rise of the Resistance, what, 10 times? <laughs> so um, their date is December 5th, believe it or not. If you know someone's birthday is happening on December 5th, I'll give you a couple of seconds here to figure it out here. Okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> so if you guess Walt Disney's birthday, you are correct. So that's pretty cool to open up a ride on his birthday. And he'd be looking down saying, oh, this is perfect. Something for my birthday. <laughs> if you guys ever, uh, I they, they didn't do it last year because I did go around his birthday a uh, lot to Disneyland. And, but uh, every now and then they have a special candlelight visual sing songs and everything it's one of the special moments on um, for Walt Disney's birthday and I think it's a, I think it's really cool they do that I guess they care about the, 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 that tradition for, for a very long time now so I'm just happy to go I'm actually happy to see it I, I, I of course I didn't have my video camera during that time so I, I can't actually show you sorry about that <laughs> but going back to uh, the whole Galaxy's Edge uh, since I haven't been there yet I'm looking forward to actually seeing it uh, it's Oh, I know. When I think about the D23 is happening next month, and I think, I, I, of course, I'm going to, of course, be there, of course. <laughs> if you guys have not been there before, you guys are very good, too, because it's all everything Disney. It's pretty cool. And I think during that time, I, one of those days, I'll probably go check out Galaxy Edge and see what it's all about. And probably give my full review of this as well after I see it. And most likely, I will give some video footage of this as well. That, I would, that would make really cool footage, I think. And uh, with this being said, uh, on this very day where I'm talking right now, it's uh, July 17th. So it is uh, someone's birthday today. A really big birthday. Well, it's not a person, in other words. So that's a little hint. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So at uh, Disneyland, it, it turned 64 today. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Next year will be the big 65. I need to try to get there uh, next year, I think, for, for July 17th. That would be a big day, I think. I, I don't know though because uh, I'm a season pass holder. I just hope they don't block that day out. <laughs> I know I'm a little bummed because I, I, I would have gone to Galaxy's Edge a little more earlier because unfortunately they block us out from it even even going. So I have to wait until the middle of August, which is kind of perfect because I'll be there for the D23 anyways and I'll be able to have full access in other words. I know I think that to tell the truth, I think that's part of the reason why it's uh, low capacity because uh, they're blocking season pass holders from coming in, which I don't think that's right. But I know what they're trying to do there. Uh, trying to uh, give the low attendance, but unfortunately, you are get, guys are getting the low attendance out there for this lane right now. I, I think that's a little bummer, but I wish to be more attention. But I think part of it's dealing maybe with the price. I think the other half is uh, maybe it's just a new generation is not really up with the Star Wars. I, I know this, you guys are building up uh, Star Wars, more Star Wars movies in the future for uh, the Star Wars. I, we're still waiting for a finale to. The Luke Skywalker era in uh, December here. And I guess this is making more Star Wars movies related in the future. So I, I think it's interesting how they kind of... Uh, what's the word? I, There's a word I'm looking for. Try to uh, really overlook what they're doing because that last movie was a solo a Star Wars movie, which I, I thought was halfway decent. And I think uh, since that, that was a step down, I didn't do it too, too well at the box office. I think Disney's well looking... Well, maybe we should probably be pacing ourselves, which I think that that's probably a good idea. That way, can they can actually try to reflect well for the future and uh, what's going to happen. I, I wonder if they still will do individual movies, like because uh, uh, Solo was an individual movie, and um, it's just hard to see. <laughs> so, so let's see what happens. I'm going to start wrapping this up. I want my main focus was being uh, ha happy to know these dates for Rise of the Resistance for Disneyland and uh, Disney World. 
And I just get, we're just going to have to wait a while. That means I have to go another day next, sometime next year. And since I'm a season pass holder, that would probably help. So I'm going to start wrapping this up and saying, my name is Rodney Crutch. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give me those thumbs up and subscribe. And maybe, hey, one of these times I might see you at Disneyland. If you happen to see me at Disneyland, give me a big hello. I'd love to say hello back, okay? So I can say adios amigos and I'll see you later. Bye.